So for the past two years, Richie and I have been living in a 2014 Wolf Creek 840 hard side, no slide truck bed camper. If you want to see more about our rig and why we chose this particular rig, you can catch this video up here. But this video is gonna talk about why we live this lifestyle, why we live full time in this rig and some of the downsides. <laughs> so our current system is that we spend four months of the year down here in Terlingua, Texas. We spend four months of the year at our home in Northern Maine. So yeah, we do own a house, but I'll get to that in a minute. And then that usually leaves us four months to spend traveling abroad or even within the States. We both have a lot of experience working in the tourism industry. So we live where people vacation, it's kind of our slogan. So down here in Terlingua is kind of our main source of income for the year, though Richie does work at a restaurant in Maine as well. Now, <laughs> downsides to living in a camper like this, it's a hundred square feet. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's a hundred square feet for two people and a dog. It's just not a lot of space. And yes, that includes the queen bed. <laughs> It's especially hard to live like this whenever this thing is parked for months at a time and we're not traveling. So when we're on the road and we've been sitting in the truck all day cramped and driving for hours to pull over and not have to get a hotel room and unpack your bags and go out into some strange bed bug infested motel is really great. We go in the back and we can sprawl out. I can cook dinner. Richie can watch TV and unwind. And it's really nice to just have everything there. Our home is with us and it feels very spacious. But when we're parked and living day to day and both trying to get ready for work at the same time, it makes it really difficult and it just makes it feel so smaller <laughs> yeah there really is only space for one of us to get ready for work at a time so getting dressed brushing teeth combing hair uh, making breakfast like only one person can do that at a time also this rig did not come with an ac unit and we have not yet bit the bullet to install one um I don't know if you guys have heard, but it's really hot down here this winter. <laughs> We've already seen temperatures in the mid 90s. And so for the last couple of weeks, I've had to get up before sunrise, cook all of my food for the day because I don't dare turn the stove on in the heat of the day. I work out outside. This is my gym. And it's oftentimes by nine or 10 o'clock, it's too hot to work out out here. So I will actually put on all my gym clothes, go into our tiny little shower, turn the hot water on because we've learned that the hot water tank is actually insulated. So the water in there is cooler than the cold water tank that's not insulated. <laughs> and I will just get drenched and then I'll come outside and just sopping wet, get my workout in. And then, of course, once all that's done, by noon or 1 o'clock, it's usually up to at least 90 degrees in there. And so I will take Tahoe and just go hang out in a cafe or a bar or just somewhere that has AC because it's so painfully <laughs> uncomfortable to be inside. And the reason we haven't sprung for an AC unit yet is because they're just really expensive. And we haven't decided which one we want yet. But now on to the why. Why do we live like this? It sounds pretty uncomfortable and sometimes it is, but there are also a lot of perks to this kind of life. For one thing, we don't have a mortgage. Yes, we have a home. No, we don't have a mortgage. And there's a reason that we're not living there. We're actually renting the house out. Now, in September 21, I went on a yoga retreat in this tiny little town in northern Maine that you've never heard of, and I found a house that was for sale for $55,000, and we paid cash for that, so I, we don't have a mortgage. And then in the winter time, we're actually able to rent the house on Airbnb, and it doesn't make any money for sure, but at least pays the property taxes and the utilities and the housekeeping for the year, so. But I digress, we're really not there that often. With this rig, we can actually live, literally live in a parking space. 
so currently our situation is pretty awesome in that we don't pay any rent down here. So we get water and electric and we're just kind of allowed to be on property for free in exchange for like helping out sometimes. Since we're both in the tourism industry, we have to live where people vacation in order to have work. So generally in those places, the cost of living for employees is extremely high and very limited. And being able to live in our own space, we come with our own housing, we don't take up much room. So we really have the edge on always having somewhere to live, always having our home with us and just generally being able to to do this because otherwise there's just no way. Another reason that I love living like this is we can pick up and leave whenever we want to. <laughs> we don't sign leases, we don't have rental agreements, we don't have employment contracts. We can literally just work day to day to day. And if we're ever tired of the view, we can be out of here in three hours. And of course there's always, it doesn't matter how you feel about Texas. No one can say that the power grid here is anything spectacular, <laughs> unless it's spectacularly awful. The power here goes out all the time. If it's too sunny, power goes out. If it's too windy, the power goes out. If it's too cold, the power goes out. Too hot, power's out. So we literally, if the power goes out, Oftentimes, I don't even notice. We are on solar, we have full tanks of water, the fridge and the stove are propane. So life just goes on as normal. So basically, living in a tiny space like this, yes, it may have its drawbacks, but it allows us to do things that are a huge priority for us, like travel and Well, pretty much travel. <laughs> Neither of us have ever dreamed of having kids, so that's really not in the plan for us. So that leaves all the money we make to just go back to us and the things that we want to do. And if we want to drop everything and go to Antarctica, we can and and we do. And so it's pretty awesome. And I will trade being hot occasionally and having to get up early to make food in exchange for my freedom. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, look forward to hearing them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.